Hello guys, video number 12 for the calling lessons. Now we finally getting into on how composition works and all the basic compositions. And in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own composition depending on what type of fight you're going to get. But first thing, I'm going to show you how all the compositions in the game work. So let's go into it. First thing you gotta know, each party has 20 people, okay? 20 people. Per party, there's 20 people. Depending on the what type of composition you wanna grab, you depend on having a certain amount of people. For example, if you want to run a brawl composition, you need at least 60 guys. Because if you don't have 60 guys, you won't going to have enough people to live inside your enemy. You're not going to have enough battle mounts to live inside your enemy. For build a full push composition, you need at least... 30 people because if you don't have 30 people you won't gonna have enough dps's to keep pushing the enemy without stopping or if you want to build a one shot composition you need at least 20 people because having less than 20 people won't gonna allow you to kill the enemy without you know letting them get out alive that's it we not kill the enemy fast enough before the allies heal them okay so depending on the type of composition you want to have you gonna run certain different amount of things on your zerg but overall what you need for your zerg is uh, that's for all the compositions by the way you need four tanks you need four healers you need four supports you need two battle mounts two battle mounts and six dps's DPS. But that star shit. Holy shit. Hold on. It's a little bit better. Okay. And six DPSs. Okay. That's for every 20 people. So if you have 40, you just double it. If you have 60, three times it. If you have 80, four times it. And what changes is pretty much the builds that the tanks use or the healers use or the supports use or the numbers of battle mounts you have so for example if you're running a one shot composition you want to have all your tanks with demon armors for when you're kiting back they use the demon armors to absorb the damage how are your healers gonna be on Cluffy for they can heal more, insta heal? How are your supports gonna be either on Judicator or more, but they also gonna be ranged supports like Locus, like Enigmatics, Life Curse, Domination. You wanna have more Chariots and Eagles, and also your DPS is gonna be pretty much all Cluffy. Or if they're not Cluffy, they're gonna be lighter, but hit and back hit them back but if you're running for example brawl composition instead of having tanks on the armors 
you're gonna have tanks on guardian armors or spider armors. Your healers gonna be either the holies, still gonna use cloffy, but the natures, you're gonna have more natures. Instead of having, for example, three holies, you're gonna have two holies and two natures, and the natures with leather jacket. You probably wanna have more oath keepers, so you push through. You wanna have the locusts and the enigmatics with the demo armor for sustain what we don't have from the tanks. And also, you wanna have the DPSs on plate armor, like carvings with plate armor, like and all the deep lessons on ladder, like Hellion Jackets, so can they heal themselves and keep pushing into the enemy. Or, that's pretty much it. Or, if you want to run the Jurassic Park composition, instead of having two battle mounts on each party, you pretty much cancel the two battle mounts, you make a full party, so you make a 20 party, 20 man party, only with the battle mounts. All the better mounts, and instead of having more than one better mount per party, you can add other tank and other DPS, for example. And it all depends on what type of composition you want to run. But put it in mind that basically the composition, the better you have, you know, the better you know your numbers, the best composition you can get. For example, 100 Menzergs is different than 60 Menzergs. Because if you have 100 men, instead of only having, for example, 10 battle mounts, you can have 20 because you're going to have other roles that are going to fill the gaps. I'm going to give you some example. Life curse. You don't need more than two life curse for a Zerg or three a max because they don't stack. So one of them being good use it, it's enough for you. Or for example... You don't need five 100 maces because having three good 100 maces that's already gonna make all the clumps you need for your Zerg. Or, for example, you don't need uh, three dominations or four dominations because you're having two dominations well used, it, they're gonna red pierce the Zerg. There's certain roles that don't stack so. On those rows that don't stack, you don't need to add the other one. So instead, you can add other better mount, you can add other DPS, you can add other defensive tank. So it all depends on your numbers, okay? So if you have 20 men party, that's it. Four tanks, four healers, four supports, two better mounts, six DPSs. If you have 40 men party, same thing. Four better mounts, eight supports. 8 healers, 8 tanks, 12 DPSs. Now, if you have 60, you probably don't need some supports out of this. So you can probably get down to 3 supports, 3 better mounts, and add one more better mount. You can go for 4 healers, 4 tanks, and 6 DPSs again. Now you have a lot of DPSs, so probably on the fourth party you can go for like four DPSs, two better mounts, like three supports, four healers, and like six tanks. You know, what I'm trying to sell, what I'm gonna try to tell you is after 60 men, all that goes on the rest, it's basically extra you have on the Zerg. You don't need, most of the times, you don't need extra DPS. When you have 20 people hitting the same club, it's more than enough. When you have two damnations, two life curse, it's more than enough. When you have, for example, three clap tanks or like three 100 mace and two hodges, it's more than enough. So you add those other roles that are going to make your Zerg really hard to hit like more barrel mounts like more defensive tanks and all those type of things it also depends on the comp you want to run of course so let's say if you if you're playing a kite camp and after you have your 60 man core build you can add carpets you can add more egos you can add for example another mm, under locus or more enigmatics or you can even add bomb squads for it and it's gonna make you know you you're more versatile or to it's versatile is how you say versatile for survive some type of situations you know 
So that's pretty much it. So choose the type of comp you like the most. You can watch the vote reviews we did on the past videos, only the next ones you're gonna go. And just make your core composition around it. When I say core, your first 60 men. And after you have this good 60 men made, all the rest you basically fits on your play style. If you wanna live more inside the enemy, add more tanks. If you like the battle mode, stopping them, add more battle modes, make a Jurassic Park. Or if you like Bomb Squad, make some Siege Bows, Bomb Squad, then mix things up, you know? Azure is pretty much an ecosystem. When you have all the ecosystem playing together, you can add more things and test things out. So that's pretty much it, and thank you for watching.